The city's pursuing a new fire station on Anastasia Island. City of St. Augustine Assistant City Manager Ruben Franklin shares details with Liz Ryan. He explains the need for a new fire station. The existing fire station, which is by the lighthouse and across from the alligator farm, uh, is very old. It was built in the 1950s, I believe, by firefighters. And it's small and outdated for our community's needs. So that sent us on a mission to site a new location for a fire station. And we've been trying multiple sites. And we finally have found a site that I think is going to be a good fit at 500 Anastasia Boulevard, which is currently where Blue Water Jewelers is at. And there's another reason the fire station needs to be relocated. And it allows the city to move forward with DOT for the design of a roundabout at the Red Cox Road A1A intersection near the Alligator Farm. So it's not just a new fire station. There's two goals we're trying to do here. Build a modern fire station that meets our community's needs and also move forward with this important transportation safety project that also meets our community's needs. If you have questions or would like to learn more about the fire station, there's a meeting tonight in the Alcazar Room at City Hall. The meeting's going to be from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. Chief Avalese with the fire department will be there. So just to answer questions about the design, uh, project schedule, cost, if anybody in the community has any questions. You may remember that last year, there was a proposal to level a hammock and build a fire station there. Residents successfully opposed that idea. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. St. Francis House in St. Augustine is on the verge of being able to help more local families. Currently, St. Francis is a temporary shelter for up to four families to call home for a while. But with the construction of an addition of the Nonprofit Housing and Assistance Center, there will be enough room for eight families needing assistance. Joy Case, Development Director for St. Francis House and Port in the Storm. Everyone comes with their own unique story. Some of them may have been priced out. Maybe their landlord decided to sell their house. They've lost a partner and can no longer afford the mortgage. Those who seek help from St. Francis House and St. Augustine don't need to have anything but a desire to improve their situation. It's a $1.6 million overall project. 22% of that is being paid from the generosity of our donors, and then the remainder is from that grant. Joy says if you would like to be part of the program, sponsors are welcome by clicking on to joy.c at stfrancisshelter.org. The goal is to have the work done by the end of 2025. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. A lot of people probably don't realize that the tickets are all inclusive, so they include unlimited tasting bites as well as beverages, and there are over 300 varieties of different beverages, wines, beers, and spirits. Whiskey, wine, and wildlife is this weekend, and we're talking to the festival director. Jan Gorley calls it a culinary weekend like no other. It kicks off with a wine dinner at Pesca in the Hyatt Place. Friday is the Volano A1A soiree that evening, and during the day we have three master classes with local chefs and beverage experts, and then Saturday we have the GTM Research Reserve guided tour, and then the big event, the grand tasting from 2 to 5 on Saturday, which is going to be a Hyatt Place Hotel takeover and along uh, Loja Street as well, which is the adjacent street to the hotel, and that ends with a Sunday jazz brunch. Gorley says it's all for a good cause. The festivals that we produce in St. Augustine, which is also St. Augustine Food and Wine Festival and Whiskey, Wine and Wildlife, have donated pretty close after this festival will be over to $90,000 to Volano Beach Main Street, which they use for community improvements and that sort of thing. And then the proceeds from the class that we do, the guided tour over at the GTM Research Reserve, 100% of those proceeds, are, they get to keep those all the ticket sales. For tickets or for more information about the weekend's events, visit whiskeywineandwildlife.com. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Daryl Moody. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's local morning news. I'm Rich Carroll.